security news. So Ben Rothke has a really cool post talking about the discrepancy between what's happening with why there are so many open cybersecurity jobs and why there are so many people looking for cybersecurity jobs and they can't get hired. They can't even get interviews, really. And what he basically says is that it comes down to technical skills. Like all these people who are looking for jobs and can't find one, it's because they can't actually write code and push code. That's essentially what he's saying. And I would say I agree with that. I would say, though, that it's not just being a developer. Technical is what matters. So being a developer is one way to be technical, but there are other ways to be technical. The way I define being technical is knowing the lowest layer, innermost details of a particular thing. And that could be audit, that could be pen testing, that could be bug bounty, that can be uh, managing a security program. But you have to know the nitty gritty details. In fact, managing a security program might not be it because you're not doing the details of the particular things. But like say a vendor security management program, doing a bake off between one product and another product, you have to know the ins and outs of those things. Uh, being a threat modeler, uh, being a pen tester, all those things are other ways to be technical, right? And there's a million of them. The problem is hiring managers are looking for those details. They need somebody who lands on Monday and starts working. Uh, they don't, they're don't. they not looking for somebody who comes in and is like, oh, I have a degree and I have a, or I have a cer certification. And, you know, what do I do, boss? Tell me what to do. And they're like, well, I, psh, take your pick. I've got to, I need to do this. I need to do this. I've got a million different things, like jump in there and do something. And they're like, well, when's the training? I need to, I need to be trained. You've got to train me. Otherwise I can't do the job. It's like, they're just tired of having that conversation. So they only want to hire people who have already done it or have shown competence in being able to do it. This is why having a blog is so important. Um, and it's not specifically a blog. This is why emoting, talking about the knowledge that you have or that you are gaining actively failing in public, learning in public. This is why this is so important. This is why people can go from barely picking up a thing, becoming competent with it online, talking about it in social media, and having a job. And they, they did this in the course of six months or a year. Whereas somebody could go and get a master's degree um, or a bachelor's or whatever in like every certification possible, and they still can't get a job. Because they, they get interviewed and the hiring manager is like, yeah, this person doesn't know anything. I'm going to have to train them. And that's if they even pick it up after I train them. So the difference between somebody who could do the actual details on Monday and somebody who the hiring manager has to train is vast. And that is the same distance between millions of op open cybersecurity jobs and millions of people looking for cybersecurity positions who can't get hired. And that's the difference. And, and that's why... Uh, that's what he's talking about in this thing. And I have my own take on this. I called uh, my essay on what hiring managers want. And if you scroll through this, it's basically talking about, uh, well, that's like the uh, meta skills or the soft skills stuff. But um, technical skills is like product selection. Oh, we, we have to pick between these products. You have to do a bake-off. Well, you've got to know everything about that. You've got to know everything about the details. Ad hoc security assessment, just a random security assessment. Hey, I need you to go look at this. Tell me if there's any really bad problems. What does really bad mean, right? That that, that has to be natural for you. And there's so many things here. Um, I, I've got it all in this post. And this is not a comprehensive list by any means. Uh, preparing for and handling an audit. Integrating a new security product into the company. Creating a new tool. And then you've got your meta skills, which I prefer to say instead of soft skills because soft skills implies that they're undervalued. Well, well, they are undervalued, but it implies that they don't have value when in fact they actually do. And this is excellent writing, fast learning, and mentorship. But all that to say, this is a really good post. And um, this to me is the best explanation out there for the gap between open positions and people looking for work.